tonight, families holding on to hope. Three teenagers made it out of that crash, that horrific crash, alive. A high-speed ride that nearly killed them, though. And with kids about to get out for holiday break, this is a real reminder for everyone to be alert on those roads. This crash was in Dallas, in Oak Cliff, on South Vernon Avenue near West Clarendon Drive. That is where Bradley Blackburn is live for us tonight. And Bradley, how are those teens doing? Marie, police tell us they are in critical condition at Methodist Hospital and here on Vernon Avenue traffic is moving again. It was closed off all day today and everyone who saw this crash had the same reaction. How could anyone make it out alive? It is barely recognizable as an SUV twisted metal that carried three young lives. I really thought I was coming out here to a fatality. I really did. Even Dallas police officers shocked that the three teenagers in this car survived. And they're lucky to be alive. They are very lucky to be alive. Police say the teens were skipping school, traveling at an extremely high rate of speed down Vernon Ave when they lost control and hit a light pole. A 17-year-old boy was ejected from the back, two 16-year-old girls still up front. And I saw the car was on fire. It happened right behind Emmy Crowder's fence. She ran to grab a fire extinguisher. I mean, I was just like praying that the police or the firemen would get here and get them out in time because that flame was just coming closer and closer to the front seat. She and her fiance have had a front seat to this scary stretch of road because this is not the first accident. You can see they have just rebuilt a fence. Last month, a drunk driver crashed through. Now the car came right through here. He ran over these two crepe myrtles and just continued full speed. And a few months before that, a teenager plowed through another part of the fence and hit a light pole. It's so unsafe and scary. Cars often speed down Vernon. Police know it's a problem. They've stepped up enforcement. Since March, have issued over 3,300 plus citations in this area alone because of speed. It's frustrating that I don't feel safe in my backyard now. Crowder worries a car could hit their house. She and her fiance want the city to make traffic pattern changes like a bus lane. Removing a lane might slow people down. Because change is needed. And control your speed. In Dallas, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.